Is it more important to spend less money or earn more money if you want to build wealth with infinite banking? My name is Darius. And I'm Carmen. For the best infinite banking and financial advice, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to be notified every time we post new videos. Traditionally, if you want to build wealth, you have to spend less money than you earn. So if you want to know if this same rule applies to infinite banking, by the end of this video, you'll be able to find out. First thing first, it takes discipline and common sense to get from one place financially to another place. How in the world are you going to build your wealth if you're spending every single dollar that you get every time you get paid? And unfortunately, it's just the programming that we've been brought up with, or at least for some people, mm -hmm. is you spend all of the money that you have and then you have to wait another two weeks just to build the money back up so that you can spend it again. So we need to be more strategic with our money and especially when we're doing infinite banking, just so that you can again take that disposable income to create your banking system that you can now fire the banks and replace the banks so that you can become your own source of financing. Yes, and I think one of the huge issues is the immediate gratification that, oh, that we get. Totally. Because you may be getting a brand new Mercedes when you should be getting a Toyota. <laughs> Right, because we put ourselves in positions where we can we can go and get that Mercedes, but, but should we? But should we? Mm -hmm. So we should really think about the financial decisions that we make, so that we have money to make the most important decisions, which is putting ourselves in a position to earn more money. Totally. So when we talk about is it more important to spend less money that you make or earn more money, at the same time you need to do both. Yes. So when you spend less money than you actually make, it's really, really important to have that discipline because no matter how much money you start making and your, uh, your income increases, mm -hmm. as long as you have that habit, you'll be able to live a, a certain lifestyle that allows you to invest and be a part of any financial opportunity that comes your way because you're disciplined with your disposable income. Exactly, because a lot of things that happen are what we did <laughs> is we went from earning $50,000 to $75,000 and instead of our savings increasing, our spending increased. Totally. That is not a good financial decision to make. No. Mm -mm. And it's super easy to do though, right? Because it, the more money that's coming in, that's more opportunity that you have to spend money. So we're right. always harping on the fact of being able to spend less money but make more money at the same time mm -hmm. so that you have the disposable income that you need to accomplish your financial goals. If you're finding the information that we're sharing with you helpful, Make sure you comment below, spend less. Just like we mentioned earlier, it is equally important to earn more money in parallel with spending less money. This allows you to work towards those goals you set forth for yourself and your financial future. And I think that's something that we underestimate. Mm -hmm. We are always thinking as consumers about spending, 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 and saving or even being strategic with savings becomes further and further away from our mind because we're just in this society where it's all about um, consumerism, if that's even a word. Yeah. But basically what I mean by that is we need to shift our priorities and let the saving piece of your finances be the sexy thing that you look forward to. Because when you are able to have the freedom to make amazing financial decisions, the freedom to go on the vacations you want to go on, the freedom to pay off debt, the freedom to capitalize your financial opportunities, everything shifts. Mm -hmm. But until you get out of that consumer mindset and thinking about the saving and the investor mindset and being strategic with your money, it makes it really difficult for you to get ahead. Yes, it's simple. Spend less money and earn more money. It's kind of like going on a diet and not going to the gym. You have to do both. You have to diet and go to the gym. You have to spend less and you have to earn more. And to that analogy, it is a little painful at first because when you're out of shape, it hurts to get back in the gym and it hurts to diet, but the same thing goes with your finances. So when you're not used to saving and spending a certain way, it's a little painful at first, mm -hmm. but the light is at the end of the tunnel, I promise you. Once you see your savings or the disposable income start increasing, once you see that those numbers change and on a consistent basis, it really empowers you to do 
do more mm -hmm. and to be more responsible with your money because it just allows you to do so much more with your current lifestyle. Exactly. What always comes first is the habit. You have to have the habit before you're able to see the results. Your habits are spending less and earning more. Build that habit first and then you start to see the results that you want to see reflected in your bank account. Mm -hmm. And how does this all have to even tie with infinite banking? Is it all deals with that discretionary income? Because mm -hmm. that's the money that you need to build your banking system. And as that money is working for you, as things come up, investments come up, or anything that you need to finance, you're mm -hmm. able to borrow from your own banking system so that you don't have to use the banks and pay them the principal and interest. You're going to pay it to yourself. Mm -hmm. So these are the foundational techniques and things that we talk about that you need really in order to be a successful infinite bank so it's all about spending less money than you make and also looking at the other end of the scale and trying to produce as much as you possibly can so that you can create that generational wealth so that you can invest the way that you want to and at the end of the day obtain the financial freedom that you're looking for so like Carmen said let's think about this for a moment you have all your expenses paid you have discretionary income to go and do the things that you want to do and then on top of that, the things that you finance, you're financing it through your banking system. So you basically have a cycle of money, of debt that you owe to yourself that you're able to benefit from. Mm -hmm. How does that look for you? From our standpoint, it looks pretty good because yes. we're the ones doing it. So it makes it really nice when you have the control, the financial control that you need so that you can create the financial liberation that you deserve. It really changes the way you look at money and the way your money affects everything around you. Good point. Now that you understand the discipline that it takes to create wealth within your infinite banking system, we have a little gift for you. And that is the very first module of our Money Blueprint course that we have created for you. So the Money Blueprint course teaches you about how to create a millionaire mindset. It teaches you how to manage your money. It teaches you the banking system, how to get out of debt, and then also how infinite banking affects everything that you do financially. So because we have such an amazing viewership here on YouTube, we want to give you all with the very first module of the money blueprint and the link is below if you want to get access to it if you want to join a community of like-minded high achievers just like yourself we have a patreon community where we share up-to-date infinite banking advice and how to navigate the sometimes confusing space and lastly if you like this video please like it subscribe to our channel and also share it with someone who you think will benefit from this information and always remember to own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.